Yeah, um, looking at this story, um, I give my condolences to the families of this young man and this woman. Like I always say, the media is a funny, fickle thing. Now, Mike Savage, the guy who's reporting on this video piece that I'm coming to, is a savage. Michael Savage is a bad motherfucker. I watch, I uh, watch, I listen to Michael Savage when he was on the radio here in the Bay Area. Now, Michael Savage is not the kind of person that would sit there and, and be black or white or biased one way or the other. But what he is saying in this piece is truthful. If there was four white guys who did this to a black man and a woman, it'd be all over the news. What do you want, boy? Also the nervous pit. Open the pen so he can get in and get out. So, you want to turn? Get the sock from the other side of the pen so he can play with the sock. So, um, like I'm saying, it's like I can understand the frustration in people's minds and hearts. How's this going kind to of go? And this is not a national story. You don't kidnap, murder, sodomize, decapitate any of that shit without that shit hitting the fucking news. And it didn't. Now, are you saying that it didn't hit the news because we have a black man running for president? Are you saying that when black people commit crimes, it's done so much that it's not real news when they do it again? Or are you saying that because the victims were white and the perpetrators were black, and we are in one of those years where race is an issue apparently, that it's best to let this one go? I don't think so. I truly understand why some media outlets would not play or even mention this. My cousin was lynched and murdered in Yuba City, California. It didn't make the local news. I don't even think it made the national news. But if you go Google Willie Dean Roberts Jr., then you have the news. Uh, apparently two parolees decide to strap a black man to the front of a car, a truck I believe, and drive around town till his face was burned off. So you can hear the tires squeal from the flesh being stuck underneath the fucking car. So these two people were treated fucked up, extremely wrong. I don't wish what happened to these people on anybody. But the media works like that. This black man being tortured by a white and a Mexican would have set the whole Bay Area, Bay Area off. That, what happened to those people, would have set, uh, quote unquote, radical white America off. Because what they did to those people was fucking wrong. I don't condone any violence or any death or any killing of anybody. These guys, I put them in the same book that I put that one guy in on that video I did. Ten year old gives birth. You watch that video and you'll understand how I feel about these guys. So, in saying what I've said and to counteract what Mr. Savage has said, it's a sad day in America when all of the news is not reported equally. Just because these black guys went amok, let that shit be known. Because if four or five white guys go amok, Everybody will know. Thank you for your time. Mr. Savage, get back on the radio so I can listen to you some more. We fired him for a reason. You do the math.